Hey, Joel, have you heard about this new protocol called QUIC? I've been hearing a lot about it, but I'm not quite sure what it is or how it works. Can you enlighten me? Absolutely. QUIC is indeed an interesting protocol that's gaining popularity. It stands for Quick UDP Internet Connections. It was developed by Google as an experimental protocol to enhance web communication. It aims to improve both speed and security compared to traditional protocols like TCP, Transmission Control Protocol. So, how exactly does QUIC improve upon TCP, Joel? Well, QUIC has a few noteworthy features. First, it combines both transport and encryption layers, which means it provides built-in encryption by default. This helps protect the data exchanged between the client and the server from eavesdropping and tampering. That sounds great. Does it offer any advantages in terms of performance? Absolutely. QUIC is designed to reduce latency and improve speed. It achieves this by implementing features such as connection establishment without a prior round trip, packet-level error correction, and multiplexing of requests. These optimizations help minimize the delay in communication and enhance overall performance. Okay, I'm starting to get the hang of it. But how does QUIC actually work, Joel? Well, QUIC works on top of UDP, User Datagram Protocol, rather than TCP. UDP is a simpler and faster protocol compared to TCP but lacks some of the reliability mechanisms TCP provides. QUIC compensates for this by implementing its own reliability features on top of UDP. That's interesting. Can you explain how QUIC achieves reliability without relying on TCP? Sure. QUIC introduces its own error correction mechanism called Forward Error Correction FEC. It adds redundant information to the transmitted packets, allowing the receiver to recover lost or corrupted packets without requesting retransmission. This approach reduces the round trips required for retransmissions and improves the overall efficiency. That's clever. So, it takes care of error correction. What about congestion control? Excellent question. QUIC incorporates its own congestion control mechanism as well. It monitors the network conditions and adapts the transmission rate accordingly to avoid network congestion. It uses a similar congestion control algorithm to TCP, but with some adjustments specific to the QUIC protocol. I'm curious, Joel, are there any downsides to using QUIC? Well, one disadvantage is that since QUIC is a relatively new protocol, not all network devices and servers may support it yet. This can limit its compatibility with some older systems. Additionally, Quick's encryption overhead can consume more computational resources compared to unencrypted protocols like UDP. That makes sense. But what are the major advantages that make QUIC worth considering? One of the significant advantages of QUIC is its ability to establish connections more quickly. Unlike TCP, which requires multiple round trips to set up a connection, QUIC reduces the latency by eliminating those initial round trips. This is especially beneficial for real-time applications, such as video streaming or online gaming. That sounds like a big win for performance. Are there any other notable benefits? Absolutely. QUIC also improves performance by allowing multiplexing of requests. It means that multiple requests can be sent over a single QUIC connection simultaneously, reducing the overall overhead of establishing multiple connections. This enhances the efficiency of communication, especially for applications that require numerous resource requests, such as loading web pages with multiple assets. Joel, are there any alternative protocols that offer similar benefits to QUIC? Well, there are a few alternatives worth mentioning. One such protocol is HTTP-2, 
which is an improved version of the traditional HTTP protocol. HTTP-2 incorporates features like request multiplexing and server push, which enhance performance and reduce latency. However, it still relies on TCP as the underlying transport protocol. So, if I understand correctly, HTTP-2 is a more established alternative, while QUIC is a newer protocol that offers additional benefits like built-in encryption and reduced latency. That's a great summary. While both protocols have their advantages, QUIC is gaining popularity due to its ability to provide a secure and faster web browsing experience. Thanks for explaining QUIC in such detail, Joel. I now have a much better understanding of this protocol and its benefits. You're welcome. QUIC is indeed an exciting development in the world of web protocols, and it's worth keeping an eye on its future development and adoption. If you have any more questions, feel free to ask.